week's edition of the Royal Report is proudly brought to you by Tintacar Home and Office. Uh, so Tommy Barras is in his first season of league football and um, stringing some really good games together at the moment. He uh, has been down at full back for us at East Perth in the league and is getting close to a, to a call up with obviously Eric McKenzie and Mitch Brown going down at the start of the year. Uh, we've had to really fast track Tom's development and he's, um, he's bought into what uh, I've been trying to teach him and he's going really well. Tom's a, a good reader of the flight of the football coming in, um, quite aggressive when he um, goes for his marks and he's obviously helping out our other defenders down there by doing so. Um, he's playing to his strengths which is what we ask of him and uh, if he doesn't mark it he's at least halving those contests and I mean he's, he's still a, a young man so he's only 19 uh, but he is up against some pretty solid guys in the waffle and holding his own. Xavier Ellis obviously had some injury problems uh, with his hamstring and his calf over the, the last six weeks and um, was due to come back but we had the waffle by, they had the state game on so X um, did a bit of extra training and then obviously came back in the reserves for East Perth the week, uh, week after that. Um, strung his 60 minutes together and we got to see him uh, at league level and as you'd expect from such a uh, experienced player, he was very very good with his communication and leadership um, with the boys down at East Perth so uh, I wouldn't expect that he's too far away from a senior call up um, should he recover well from the games that he's played with us down at Waffle level. Uh, so Mally Cartney um, has just started to really establish himself at league level for East Perth and um, really playing to his strengths. He missed a, a couple of weeks of football with some family issues back in, in Adelaide which he had to get back there for but uh, one week in the reserves and a few games now um, back into the league side and he's really really developing for us. I say playing to his strengths, he's taking the game on, throwing a bit of candy here and there, uh, a couple of shots at goal. Had a really good game on the Monday WA day against West Perth and um, it started to continue on that form so we're really excited about what Malcolm brings, especially up forward with his um, electricity I suppose. Uh, so Alec Waterman, um, Kind of a surprise packet. Uh, he's really come into the league side, and he's still he's 18 year old boy, 19 year old boy, and and uh, playing like a man. Um, first hand is very clean, very strong, and um, winning some good first possession for Adam Selwood, our midfield coach down there. Uh, I've been really really pleased when he goes forward. He's hitting the scoreboard, a couple of uh, left foot snaps. In his first year of league footy, he's been really great for us down at the Royals. Um, we're really proud of how far he's come, and uh, looking forward to seeing him continue on for the rest of the year. So with Corey Adamson, we obviously started him down back as a defender, uh, starting to relearn the game after being out of it for a few years playing baseball. Uh, since then he's moved into the midfield now, he's played a couple of weeks uh, on ball for us, uh, down at reserves level at East Perth and he's really starting to shine, um, winning his own football, he's strong, he's fast, good endurance and um, he's not too far away from a lead caller. We, um, we're starting to see him put some pressure on the guys in the senior team and getting himself an opportunity. We're always going to have to be quite patient with Corey because he missed a bit of football, but we're starting to see some fantastic signs. A guy that's uh, such a great athlete, um, once, he's, once he starts to get his head around how the game's played today, is going to be really vital for our senior team.